going out, I had like time. Because you don't get time. Now, is this a Donkey Kong cabinet or he made this cabinet? That's a Donkey Kong cabinet. When he's doing the Kong off, right. uh, he'll f try to find Donkey Kong machines that are either in uh, decent shape or in need to repair. And then he'll do what he needs to right. to get it back into uh, working order. So you can put a game in there. If not, he has fabricated cabinets from time to time. But anything that you see is usually a uh, Donkey Kong cabinet that he has left over. Again, from the Kong off, he needs a lot of those to build those Kong, uh, Kong games. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I think he had 18, 20 Donkey Kongs for this past year's Kong off. It's incredible. And in fact, if you go to the Facebook page, I mean, we have a shot of him all lined up in his warehouse. And it was just... Yeah, I've seen that. The amount of time it takes to wire and set things up. I know a lot of these games, or single player games, will take you to work for like six to eight hours alone just to wire it. Just to make sure everything's set up correctly. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, yeah. I like the Fixie Felix without the jump button, though. Because it's, it works better that way. He said he just likes the overall feel of it. So yeah, no, I like it too. I don't know, I kind of got used to the other one, but the other one was obviously it was a computer inside of it. So, who programmed the game? I don't know. That I don't know. All I know is he brought it in one day and we're all happy about it. <laughs> yeah, it's like he made his day. <laughs> he said he was working on it, he had everything set up. And then when he brought it in, he was excited. Um, yeah, no, it's fantastic. <laughs> Listen, you gotta be happy about something. Might as well be happy about a fix it Felix with no jump on. What's even funnier is every now and then we get kids in. Uh, our second week here, my wife and I were hosting a movie party for a six year old. Right. And we didn't know what we were getting into. It's our first time having a birthday party for a bunch of little kids. And I remember hearing one of the kids playing any one of the classic games that I heard, Space Invaders. Right. No, yeah, little kids. Then it doesn't compute with them because they're used to the, to the phone. Oh yeah, this is hard for them. Atari is hard for these kids today. They, oh, don't, yeah. they don't like it. They don't get it. Yeah, if you try going back to play the old Nintendo games, the yeah, they don't like that. That's, I was gonna buy, like I said, I was gonna buy this NES Mini, and then I think I'm just gonna get like in this AVS, which is like an NES hardware, and just get like a, like a, a scan disc, like an SD card. Move out of the way.